All right, my class is going to get quiet because we are going to do another screencast. Um, we're going to do. We're going to start with day two on our daily language <coughs> review, and we're going to take a look at uh, the first sentence, which uh, I don't know about you guys, but it looks like it's got a few mistakes in it. So here we go. Uh, let's first we're going to read it, and then we're going to we're going to decide where we need to make changes. One, oh boy, one of the goodest books I've read is called A Giraffe and a Half. One of the goodest. Would we ever say goodest ever, no. ever, ever? No, we are going to delete this with the delete symbol. And we are going to say what? Yes. Best. One of the best. One of the best books I have, right? Um, what could we plug in here? I like to say ever, yeah. One of the one of the best books I've ever read is called and what do we need to do here everybody? Capitalize. A giraffe and a half. All right, and then period at the end. You guys anybody see anything else Claire Bear? Yeah, you wouldn't, in other words, you could, I would be okay with this right there. Okay? Absolutely. Are you ready? At this point, as fourth graders, I just want you to understand that titles need to be capitalized. Okay? These book uses rhymes to tell about a boy and its pet giraffe. Okay. There's definitely something up here. Okay, right here. Chase, go. These books. We need to add an S to the end of books. These books. And then would we still use. say uses then? No. Use. These books. Let's, let's do this. Use. These books use rhymes to tell about a boy and its pet giraffe. This, this book? No. These books, oh, it would be this book, yeah. It's only talking let's, about one That's book. right, let's, let's get rid of that. So it's going to be this book, this book uses rhymes to tell about a boy and its pedra. And his, that's right. Boy, you guys are on the ball today. And his pedra. And there you have it. Hey, who said that shouldn't be this? Is that Claire Bear or was that Izzy? I, would, I was going was it Izzy Pop over there? Yeah. All right. All right, as you, this is it right here. Come Friday, you're going to see these same um, things. All right, let's take a look. Add punctuation to the sentence. The book starts with the words, if you had a giraffe and he stretched another half. Uh-oh, what do we need? With the words, we need comma here and we need quotations right right the book starts with the words if you had quote right if you had a giraffe and he stretched another half okay you got it got it how about what do we need before the um before the speaking part we need a um, Complete the sentence with the words that are related to the bold word. This book is very creative because of the... Very good. Size of words. The size of the words. All right, going on to now day three. Here we go. Follow along. Here we go. Tomorrow, we creating a list of school rules, the principal stated. Who can tell me what the tagline is? Raise your hand. Don't shout it out. Right over there, Violet. The principal stated is our tagline. Very good. Tagline. Now, where is the speaking part? Shawnee. Right. We created a list of rules. Tomorrow, we creating... A list of rules. Now, 
Yeah, how could we do the contraction? Can we do the contraction? It'd be weird, right? Go ahead, go ahead, uh, Ryan Harvey, spell it. I like that. Tomorrow, we're, tomorrow, comma, we're creating a list of school rules, comma, quotations for the speaking part, the principal stated, period. Very good, that's it. What's else? What else? Will be will work, yeah. I we will be. Stated to nah, well that's fine. That fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I will send it. Tell them I'm sending it here in a minute. All right, take a look at number two. How about this one? Ready? This rules will help students, teachers, and all of we to respect. <laughs> each other she said oh my okay again where's the tagline yeah trinity when we're when we're done trinity go teeter me teeter. tagline what she said okay referring to very good okay now this rules will help students, teachers, and all of we to respect each other. Oh, my God. These. These. All right, so it's going to be these. These, these, rules, will students, teachers, and all of us. these rules will help students, comma, teachers, comma, and all of we and all of us to respect each other. Here we go. Number three. Shh. All right. Complete the sentence with the word that means the condition or state of being fair. Then circle the whatever, uh, probably the suffix, right? So, a way to show respect is to treat everyone with fairness, right? Fairness, and the suffix is Ness. <clears throat> All right. Use context clues to figure out the meaning of the bold word. Then write the meaning on the line. So I want us to find the clues, right? I don't want you to just tell me what it means. I want the clues. So if the rules aren't followed, she said, the consequence will be staying after school. So here's the, here's the bold word right here. What are, wait, what are, the, what are the clues that tell us what consequence means? Um, focus aren't followed, and I would say staying after school. That means consequence must mean what? Punishment. Yeah, okay. Negative effect, maybe. All right. This definitely concludes our screencast. So, hold on. This definitely con concludes our screencast. So let me go ahead and pull that up. And Tadero out. You guys can check this on YouTube and our Google Classroom.